All right, everyone. So I am wearing a pair of sunglasses. That obviously means we have a review video if you didn't figure it out from the title. If you didn't, why are you here? Ah. <laughs> you like me. You really like me. <laughs> I'm not falling for that, I promise. So here we have one of the brand new releases from Maui Jim. This is the Mikioi? Mikoi? Mikioi. Mikioi? I don't know. Every time, every single time. Let's take a look at it and see what she's about. He's about? So the Mickey Oi, the shape is a little softer than the new Aiko. It's a little bit more rounded through here. This one really harkens back to me for that true original pilot type style. So those that have been around for a bazillion years, this is a new titanium lightweight take on it. You'll see it all the way from the monoblock hinge to the very minimal construction throughout. Double bar, square lenses, but a little bit softer, which is good. And I do like that we didn't get that weird modernization that we have seen so many of the pilots have where it's like, eh, wings up here, man. Oh, the wings. The wings. Yeah, well. So, what Maui Jim has to say about these is it is the Mickey Oi. Somebody, please. <laughs> these names. I get it. I just don't speak the language, okay? So, these, the Maui Jim description, inspired by its literal translations, which they don't mention, so I Googled it. It is literally dainty in construction exquisite, excellently made as a result of workmanship. Yeah, dainty and neat in craftsmanship. And they are very minimal, very lightweight, very well thought out. It is Japanese titanium, which at this price point is already kind of absurd on its own. You do have the silicone nose pads here with, of course, the little parrot buried inside there. Fit and feel is pretty nice on these. I would like to see a little bit larger size of it. I actually prefer the sizing of the Aiko. It's just me. This one's a little bit smaller, which is good. It's good to have a smaller size version of it. But for that pilot, I think it should fit a little bit more, <laughs> a little more universally and not jab me in the side of the head with my own sticker because that's never fun. Sizing on this one is, yeah, it's literally two millimeters smaller. <laughs> This one is a 54i size, which is our distance across here, 16 millimeter bridge, and then we've got a very small uh, two and a half to three millimeter extrusion here for the horn area. The lenses in these, I expect with the blue Hawaii, I don't believe that is the stock on the Dove Gray. Yeah, that is actually the stock on the Dove Gray. That is incredibly unusual. I must have been asleep at the wheel because that's a Maui Pure lens. I just liked how it looked. Sometimes it happens. <laughs> I slipped on one, guys. I slipped. You can jab me on that one all you want. Generally, what I recommend doing when you are ordering some of these is to double check the lens material, which you can do on their website. Just scroll down a little ways and you'll see. Or if you know how to read their codes and the temple tips, you can look for an MB, which actually doesn't apply, I think. Once we've done the custom lenses, it's not imprinted as an MB. It would be imprinted as an MP for the Maui Pure. Hmm, quite a conundrum there. Anyways, so generally, if you care about scratch resistance much at all, I would avoid the Maui Pure lens material, but these are more of a style fashion pair. You're gonna take a little care of these. You're not gonna be out there just beating and banging them up. The more uh -huh, astute observation is a fashionable style, really nice and lightweight. Good fit and feel on the face. Overall, nice. I would have liked to seen just a little bit more curvature of the front in these, but then they really would have had to step up that sizing. I really got to do something better with these stickers, guys. That's awful. Uh, yeah. But as we mentioned on the Aiko video, come on. Uh, they do use that monoblock hinge there, which means both of these screws have to come out in order to actually separate that hinge. A little extra security there if you do have a screw start to back out, because what happens is 
both of them have to back out for things to actually fall apart. Uh, unless it's this back screw, in which case, if that one falls out entirely, this can still fall straight out. Very unusual, I haven't actually seen that happen, but technically, technically, it could. <sighs> so I find it very interesting that their description talks about the uh, daintiness of construction if they are staying true to the language because the titanium makes it anything but dainty, at least, you know, the, the word I hear thrown around with frames like this pretty regularly is flimsy. They're far from it. They're very quite, quite, quite very strong. The overall fit's good. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of an ergonomic flare on the back of these temples just so it fits here without too much pressure. These do kind of tend to poke a little bit. Uh, my sticker, obviously, is not helping with that. But yeah, it does a pretty good job of it. Now let's continue here. So this thin titanium frame yeah, with precise temple tip cutouts, which I would have liked to say in a counterweight instead of a cutout, but whatever. Combines the essence of a traditional silhouette and a modern flat top double bridge, which is, yeah, it goes straight across, very nice and flat across that top edge, which has been a big, very strong trend in fashion recently. So I do like that. Uh, da, da, blah, 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 blah. Polarized plus two, blah, 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 blah. Mikioi boasts unparalleled protection with enduring style. Now, I don't know how that supposedly differs from anything else that they claim, but they felt the need to throw it in there. I have a feeling AI is writing a lot of these because why not? That's the thing to do these days. So, overall fit, feel, finish. I'm going to give these good, especially at the price point. Uh, Japanese titanium, and you're talking about $300. That's solid. One thing, just so we cover it, let's take a quick look. Uh, yeah, Maui Green and I think Maui Sunrise. Yeah, so it's the same as the others. Uh, Maui Sunrise and Maui Green are going to be your only two that are just kind of ready available in the Maui Brilliant. I think I actually did. I got to figure out a way to compare that because I am positive. I'm going to have to look back at my paperwork. I am positive I ordered this, at least for my store, with the Maui Brilliant in the Blue Hawaii. It's going to bug me, but I'm positive I did it. I just don't have the order invoice for those here handy. You can't order that way on our website. <laughs> I can, apparently, I think. I'll find out. I'll let you know in the comments. Speaking of the comments, let me know your thoughts on the Mikioi if you feel like it lives up to the name of high, dainty craftsmanship, great worksmanship. Mm, I'm losing it, guys. I am absolutely losing it. I'm falling apart, and that is all there is to it. Let me know your thoughts on the Mikioi, if it's one you're going to be picking up, or if it's a pass for you. Everyone needs a titanium aviator. Just saying. We'll catch you guys next time.